What's up guys, this is Emmanuel from Team DBZ Biscuit and today we're coming at you with the coffee time discussion on Galactic Spiral Dragon. This is a card that I feel that if you're playing the pure version of Odd Eyes or the Odd Eyes Guard Dragon is a very good card that you should be able to slide into the deck and it can really help the deck plus the way you want to. It's a card that I feel that not many are really playing around with so let's jump into this uh, discussion and let's see what it's all about. So let's read the monster effect. It's a, when this card in your hand or in your graveyard, if you control two or more light and or dark dragon monsters, you can special summon this card in defense, but banish it when it leaves the field. During the main phase, you can make all monsters you currently control become level eight until the end of the turn. You can only use the effect of Galactic Spiral Dragon once per turn. Now that's not a bad effect. Really, it's almost like having your Destrudo. Destrudo is also an effect that can be activated in the hand or in the graveyard. The difference is this one, you just have to have two or more light or dark dragons. That's very easy to come by. Destrudo, you gotta pay 4,000 life points. Easy to come by too. The thing I like about this in the utility field is, is the fact is you can use this and you can start going into your rank eight builds and that's something that really can really open up the deck, especially for the pure version of Odd Eyes or the Odd Eyes Guard Dragon. Just being able to special summon this out of the graveyard, really for no cost at all for free, is very, very crazy and busted. Uh, usually you're gonna use this as the XYZ material, so it's gonna go back into the graveyard, it's not gonna be banished, that's something else that's very good too. But let's look into a uh, example that we could use for this. So let's say we had something like the Galactic Spiral, a Odd Eyes, Arc Pendulum, a Sky Iris, a Odd Eyes Persona Dragon, and a Dragon Shrine. Now what we want to do is we want to activate our Dragon Shrine, send our Dark Worm to the graveyard, all goes well. We get the special summon it back and we're gonna get that free gate zero into the hand. Now what we do is we set up our sky iris along with our pendulum scales, making it so that we can you know start our plays off. We'll activate our sky iris, our simple three card combo for odd eyes. Activate our sky iris to pop our persona. That's gonna allow our art pendulum effect to go off, gonna allow us to get our Sky Iris. We're gonna get our good old friend Mirage Dragon to the hand. And that's gonna allow us to special summon our Performer Pal Dissolve, Odd Eyes Dissolver to the field. And right here, we're gonna have a pretty much simple field setup. We're not gonna go real crazy. We're just gonna do a free example. Next, we have a normal summon. So we'll normal summon our Odd Eyes Mirage Dragon, making it so we have two monsters on the field that are dark. We can use this effect to go ahead and special summon our Galactic Spiral, which is very, very free at the time too. Next, we can go ahead and do our Link, and we can go into any generic Link too, so we use our Beat Cop. Next, we'll activate our Pin Scale again, and then we'll just pencil summon those two dragons that we just used as material back out. And this is where things get really good, and I really like it a lot, because next we can sit here, we can use our Dissolver's effect, use one of our pencil monsters and go into our vortex. That's gonna be one bounce and it's also gonna be a negate. Next we can use our Galactic Spiral Dragons effect making everything a level eight. We use these two in overlay and this is where I really, really like the deck because where we had Odd Eyes Vortex to get a bounce of one monster and a negate, that's very good. We also could use cards like Dengisu, being able to send one more card off the opponent's side of the field. That's something that can be very useful, especially in the pure version of Odd Eyes. Also too, the thing I like is, is if a card would be destroyed, it's gonna give a good protection on it. So that's something else too that we can use to help float the deck and keep a uh, board state the way we want to. Another card that we could use is Hope Harbinger Dragon and this is something I'm really looking at because it's going to help me to not have to worry about going into F.A. Dawn Dragster. Also too it's going to be able to redirect the attacks by detaching the material. 
and allowing us to have another material in the graveyard we can use later. That's something I'm really liking a lot and it's going to be able to suck up materials on top of that that our opponent whenever they activate a spell card allowing us to be able to get a little bit more advantage and negate our opponent out. So it's going to be something our opponent's going to have to bait around. And like I said, this is just a simple setup. Something that Galactic Spiral Dragon just gives another extra little flavor to the deck. And like I said, this is something that I haven't seen many people messing around with. It is a good, in my opinion, good little, you know, extra card that you can slide in, bump your card count up just a little bit more, and just, you know, keep a little extra little boost into the game the way you want to do it but that's it for this discussion video guys leave a comment in the comment section below let us know what you think about galactic spiral dragon what plays you could use to make with it and how could you facilitize with it this is emmanuel from team dbz biscuit we're out